Hi, I'm Darius Williams. I'm born and bred in the great second city, Chicago. It's where I first learned I had a passion for food. As great as the city was, I wanted more. So I set out for the Big Apple. That's right, New York City. I've been here for a few years cooking, learning, and developing all my recipes. My philosophy is simple. I make great food with familiar ingredients and present them in brand new ways. And here's my rule. It's gotta be simple, delicious, easy, and just good food. Here's what we're in for. Today. You know, there's one ingredient that goes with almost anything. It's perfect for sweet, it works with savory, it's great for breakfast, lunch, dinner, or just a snack. If you know like I know, I'm talking about one of my all-time favorite ingredients, bacon. It's so great, I try to work it into as many recipes as I possibly can, and today, there's no exception with my bacon and leek risotto. We take perfect granules of arborio rice and saute them with bacon and leeks. The whole thing cooks in chicken stock and white wine until each grain is tender and fluffy. For an extra added kick of pork bacon goodness, we slow braise pork belly and then give it a quick pan fry for a crunchy texture. The whole thing gets served up with Parmesan cheese and tons of cracked black pepper. This is one meal where bacon is definitely the shining star. And of course, everything we do, you know it's gotta be simple, delicious, easy, and just good food. So, let's get started. I am super excited about what I've got going on today. Let me show you what I got, first of all, all right? I've got this amazing pork belly that we're going to slow braise. I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees, and I got the pork belly. Now, pork belly is basically bacon, right, before it's smoked and before it's cured. So, this is going to be really good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to season it with salt and pepper and a little bit of beer and cover it up real tight and it's gonna go off in the oven and do its, it's a wonderful thing, right? And it's gonna just be so freaking fantastic. And the reason I love this is because it's really simple, right? You just sort of put it in, really set it, and forget it, that's really all you do, all right? I've got some thick cut bacon, you'll notice right here, and I've got some leeks, right? And these leeks have been sitting in water because leeks are dirty. So you wanna really sit them in water and zhuzh them around, and what'll happen is all the sand, right, that's in the bottom of the leeks, the sand is gonna fall off, right? And all a leek is, is just a big, super giant sort of onion. So you're gonna think about onion, you're thinking about beer, you're thinking about bacon, a little bit of cheese, it's gonna be fantastic, right? So your favorite beer, I happen to love this Pabst Blue Ribbon. I'm just gonna pour some in the bottom of our dish, just enough to sort of come up the side you know, you don't want to completely cover your pork belly, but come off the side, give it a nice, you know, amount to go in, just like that. All right, real simple. And then I've got either chicken stock will go in, or I'm gonna use a chicken bouillon cube, right? Because it's gonna give me all the chicken flavor without all the extra added moisture. So I'm just gonna crack this up and then just drop this in, just like that, right? Really simple to do, and then we're all set, all right? so. A little bit of aluminum foil, we cover off in the oven. Let this go in the oven for a while, right? Because what's gonna happen is that, you know, the tissues are gonna break down, you're gonna get a really tender pork belly, and this is gonna be great. And by a while, you know, a good two, a good three hours. This is not a, you know, I'm coming home from work, I wanna cook something, let me do pork belly. No, this is definitely a do-ahead thing. These ovens these days, they have these timers on them, so you can set the timer for a couple of hours, do what you gotta do, come back, and your pork belly is gonna be all good, all right? So this is nice and tight, and it's gonna go off in the oven to continue cooking. All right, a little olive oil I'm gonna drop in the pan, just like that. All right, a couple tablespoons around. Our leeks, we get our leeks sauteed with our bacon. All right, so look at that, we got our leeks, and our bacon, they're doing really great things, right? So as soon as sort of the leeks start to turn a little bit trans translucent, transparent, just like that, uh, and the bacon starts to cook a little bit, we're gonna go ahead and throw in some arborio rice. Now arborio rice is a short grain rice that has lots of starch. So it's gonna help out with our creamy factor. And the idea is to put it in now so we can get it nice and toasted. So I'm gonna throw that in, and I've got some good white wine that's waiting on our rice, so that's gonna come shortly. So throw this in and give it a stir and let the rice sort of toast up a little bit with the oils that are in the pan. All right, look at this. See, our rice is nice and sort of toasted up. Every granule has been coated with that flavorful oil. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add in some really good white wine. 
to deglaze our pan with. Risotto. I mean, what's not to love about a really good crafted risotto? And I love the way I created today's risotto, right? It's creamy, it's bacony, it's oniony, it's amazing, right? You gotta give like this a try. And really what's great about it is you started off with the bacon and the leeks and you get that bacon fat that sort of renders off from the meat of the bacon and it's in the pan and it's the bacon fat, the bacon oil that coats every grain of rice. So when the rice cooks up, it's perfumed. It's bathing, it's basking in like a goodness of bacon grease, right? You, it's like, I, I can't even explain it. I mean, I don't even know the words to say to explain how good it is. You just gotta give it a try. It's, risotto is so simple, it's so easy. It's like perfect for like a date night. You gotta love somebody coming over, you wanna press a little risotto because you can throw anything like pasta into a risotto and it's such a comfort food classic. You gotta give this particular recipe a try. Remember, do the, the risotto, throw any sort of ingredients in. Once you master the technique, you too can impress anybody with the risotto. Now that our wine is cooked out, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in two bouillon cubes, chicken bouillon cubes at that. And then the idea with risotto is that you add in a little bit of water at a time, right? So I'm gonna add in a little bit of water and just constantly stir so nothing sticks. And once the water cooks out, I'm gonna just keep adding water until our risotto is nice and creamy and each granule of rice is nice and tender. You know what's funny? I don't even remember the first time I fell in love with bacon. I think it was like, I, if I, kindergarten, first grade, I used to go to um, a private school, right? Back in Chicago, which is where I grew up. And there was this lady, um, like a lunch lady in the kitchen. Her name was Miss Robinson. And Miss Robinson used to make the absolute best breakfast ever. Now, I'm way older than kindergarten and first grade age, but I can still remember every day the way it tasted. She, she totally put this imprint right in my soul and my being about what food is. We used to have cheese toast, right? Now cheese toast sounds real plain, it sounds real basic, but it was amazing. It was like thick cut white bread slathered with butter and it was toasted till it was like nice and golden brown and you know, some of that thick American processed cheese she put on, it would melt down into the bread and be absolutely fantastic. And she used to always serve that with thick cut slices of bacon, right? So at an early age, I knew what bacon was all about. So that's why today I feel like I can make a bacon and leek risotto with the crispy pork belly on top because I gotta tell you, I grew up, I started out early eating bacon and that's really where I got my start. So you gotta give, you gotta give it a try. Come on, bacon, leek, risotto. You're only gonna find it at DariusCooks.com. All right, now that our wine and chicken stock is cooked out, we've got perfect tender granules of our Boreal rice. This is exactly what we're going for. So I'm gonna throw in a little bit of insurance policy to make sure everything is all good. So I'm gonna throw in a little bit of butter, right? Because what doesn't go great with rice and butter, cheese, a little bit of heavy cream just to give us an insurance policy on the creamy factor. And a little bit of mascarpone cheese, right? This is like an Italian, sort of a little bit of a sweeter situation when it comes to cream cheese. This is fantastic. And it's gonna really give us a nice, creamy, smooth texture. All right, just like that, all right. And here's our amazing leek bacon risotto with the mascarpone cheese. Remember the key is just a little bit of uh, saute on that bacon and that leek from the very, very beginning. That's exactly what you wanna do. And then you add in your white wine, let it all deglaze, so let it evaporate. And then I did bouillon cubes, okay? Or you can do the whole chicken stock, but bouillon cubes works perfectly. Total shortcut, okay? And just a little bit of insurance policy, right? So a little bit of heavy cream, a little bit of mascarpone cheese, a little bit of butter, and we are all good, all right? Look at that. That looks fantastic. It smells amazing. This is a perfect weeknight meal, right? But I'm gonna make it a little bit better. I promise you. First, let us add a little bit of Parmesan cheese shavings right on top, just like that, okay? And then I love a good sort of bite with it. So a little bit of cracked black pepper, all right? 
I'm growing chives in my garden, so I'm gonna chop up a few chives just to put on top. And don't forget, man, the, the piece de resistance of the whole meal is that beer braised pork belly, right? That was so simple. Oven preheated, 350 degrees. You know, you put it in a container in an oven proof dish, a little bit of beer, your favorite kind, a little bit of salt and pepper, it's all you need, right? Cover it tightly. Once it's done and it's cooled off, you put in a little cornstarch. Oh yeah, look at that. A little bit of cornstarch. My mouth is watering. A little bit of flour and a nice pan fry, just until it gets nice and crispy and we're all good, all right? I gotta grab a spoon <clears throat> and go win for a taste. All right, here we go. Just like this. Get a taste of that. Oh yeah, I mean, come on. That wine in the background is perfect. Each bite, I get that smoky bacon goodness. Mmm. Mmm. The onion, bite from the leeks, and I'm gonna take some of this pork belly. Oh yeah. Here's the crunch. Here's the pork belly. Come on. You gotta try it. Absolutely fantastic. The recipe, the video, so much more. My website, www.dariuscooks.com. Two things I gotta tell you. Food is my life. Life is my food. Until next time, I gotta wish you happy cooking from my heart to yours.